Hey, hey, welcome back to the Ernest P YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and today we'll be answering your questions. So it might not be the most popular video, but I've got a lot of questions in the comments down below about random things uh, that I've mentioned or people I've seen in my videos. So I just wanna go through those questions and uh, answer them, all of them. So. Uh, we'll start out here. There's there's two questions I'll do a separate video on, uh, and I'll link that, or you'll probably see it. Um, it'll be a specific video with a title, but all the other questions we'll just answer here. So, um, <clears throat> Smoke says, where do you recycle antifreeze? Uh, not the most interesting question to start out with, but in the United States, every city or county or state has specific regulations on where to recycle antifreeze. I honestly don't even know if it's illegal to throw it away, but we recycle it anyways um, at the landfill here specifically. There might be other places where they can take it at like AutoZone or something like that. Uh, at our AutoZone or any I've ever been to, I haven't ever seen antifreeze recycling and you usually have to pay to get into the landfill to recycle the antifreeze, but fine question. Uh, Midnight says, uh, you don't need all of that equipment in the truck is too big because I don't want to do bigger jobs anyways because apartment complexes won't let cars stay there overnight. Um, I did already respond to that, but uh, long story short is I do most of the work on the roads here. Uh, in this state, it is legal to have a vehicle in any shape parked on the street as long as it's registered. So I can pull the motor out of a car, leave it sitting there without a motor in it, and there's no issue with it being parked on the street. As for bigger jobs, 50-50. Uh, I like doing bigger jobs. I like doing smaller jobs as well. Um, yeah, bigger jobs is more money all at once and smaller jobs you know, get paid about the same either way for the amount of time at work. So uh, the next two questions will be in a separate video. How much do I make per hour? How much or do I charge to drive? And how far am I willing to go to work on somebody's car? And uh, Ray says, how old am I and how do I get customers? So we'll cover those in a different video. Just look for it. Uh, David said in the video where Steve was blowing out all the dust from the clutch, is it toxic to breathe that particles in? Uh, yes. Long story short, yes. No matter what kind of particles they are, in older vehicles, the clutches have asbestos in them, which are proven to cause cancer, uh, respiratory cancer in the lungs, or spread and cause other, other kinds of cancer. Uh, newer clutches don't have asbestos in them. Uh, some of them, some of them still do. Uh, the reason is asbestos is a really, really good insulator, so it doesn't get uh, hot or like melt and stuff like that. So it's still used. Uh, you don't want to breathe in asbestos. Even if it doesn't have asbestos in, you don't want to breathe those particles in. They'll be harmful for you. So yeah, you should use a respirator or a dust mask. And in fact, all the manuals state you should not blow ever uh, clutch or break dust into the air. You should use a liquid solvent like a brake cleaner to flush it out into a sealed container. Good question, David. Uh, Steve says, how can you tell us what he's doing when you don't even know for yourself? Good question, Steve. Uh, I don't know everything, <laughs> but uh, what I do know, I like to share with everybody else. It's a fine question. Steven says, it is, is it actually a UPS truck that I drive or is it a USPS truck? It's not a UPS truck. The UPS trucks are brown and they do not resell their trucks under any circumstances. Uh, even if it has just a simple problem or they're retiring it, they uh, crush it and recycle it. So you can never buy a UPS truck, one of the brown ones. It's a USPS truck, which is owned by the government, uh, the United States Postal Service. It's the exact same truck, exact same chassis that a UPS truck would be, just was owned and operated by a different company. Therefore, it's a different color. Good question, Stephen. Uh, Pedro says, how do I keep everything from moving around in that truck when I drive around? That is also a good question and something that I do not have mastered. Uh, I try and break things down. If they have wheels on them, I lay them on their side or you know, support them in a corner. Uh, to get, keep my tools from sliding around, I, I use those anti a slip mats that come in the bottom of toolboxes. I lay them down and put my tools on those so they don't roll around or slide around. They're pretty grippy. Uh, the biggest thing though is just taking corners very, very slowly. Uh, that way stuff doesn't roll around. Because one time in the back I had a whole motor on an engine stand. I was driving it over to the machine shop and I had to hit the brakes harder than I normally would have because I, I usually plan ahead for that kind of thing, but somebody in front of me hit the brakes pretty hard and I could hear the whole <laughs> engine stand move in the back of the truck and start sliding up towards me. So I was just hoping that I didn't come busting through the door into uh, the driving compartment where I was. Not that big of a deal. It didn't do anything. It just moved a little. So 
Um, yeah, but in the future I have ratchet strapped the motors in place when they're on the stand and I usually just try and not keep them on the stand in the back. Um, let's see, Sean says, how's the Jeep going? He had checked up on some of the first videos I made, which are kind of embarrassing vlogs. I was just trying to get an idea of how to make YouTube videos, but I talked about a Jeep that I had got in a trade and, uh, Long story short, it's been sitting there since I made those videos. Uh, the plan is to restore that Jeep, but I wanna use revenue from this channel to do that, and I'm not monetized. So yeah, hopefully within the next year or so, I can start doing projects on that Jeep. But as for right now, I'm just trying to work and build up savings and stuff like that. So Jeep's kind of on the back burner, but uh, the goal is to get working on it. So good question, Sean. Max says, is this why you're always late to work? Uh, in regards to the video where I cooked an egg on the engine of my car. Um, it's a good question, but I'm not late to work. <laughs> um, I work for myself, so I can schedule my own hours. It's funny though, I see the humor in the question, so I'm not ignoring the humor. But uh, to answer the question seriously, I'm, not, I'm never late to work because I work for myself. Uh, Mini Trail says, is this the easiest way to find an exhaust leak? I'll put the clip on the video. Uh, you know, a video clip of what he's talking about right here, it's super funny. Um, long story short is no, that is not the easiest way to find the exhaust leak. And there was no emojis on that, but I'm gonna assume that it was supposed to be humorous. <laughs> uh, also, he asked if that was the easiest way to clean something. I didn't write it down, but no, also not the case. So uh, probably a funny question and it's a really funny video, so we'll put it up here. Uh, Max says, bring back the mouse from the first few Steve videos. Uh, old trusty mouse is still here. I was just trying to figure out the best way to be able to use it and click on stuff in the videos, but I like to use the space bar now to pause the videos. So the mouse just kind of sits down here out of sight, but still here. I'll probably have it for a while because I'm too cheap to buy a cordless mouse because I don't need one, this one works fine. Anyways, there's the mouse. It's still here. Doesn't need to be brought back unless you're specifically talking about insight on the videos. So that's funny. I'm glad you like the mouse, Max. Um, Fix Tricks with an X says, what is Steve doing? It's a good question, Fix Tricks. That is exactly what we have been talking about. So um, yeah, thank you for that. Miguel says, so I'm making money off of his popularity talking about Steve. Um, no, I actually don't make any money, Miguel. Um, not even close to making money yet. I'm just trying to provide entertaining content for people out there. I kind of found a niche in this little market. I noticed that Steve wasn't saying what was going on in his videos and most people like to know stuff like that. So uh, I am not trying to make money off of Steve's popularity. In fact, I haven't made money and uh, yeah, these videos are kind of not wouldn't be generating revenue either way if I was monetized, but there's nothing wrong with them. It's under fair use. And in fact, the way I see it, you, you know, discuss it in the comments if you think I'm wrong. I'm not taking any popularity away from Steve. Uh, if anything, hopefully I'm raising more awareness for his videos. So if somebody sees my video and they hadn't seen Steve yet, hopefully they start watching Steve because honestly it's more entertaining to watch him on the screen. And I hope to just provide people who want to, to know a little bit more of what Steve's doing with the words behind the action. So yeah, uh, no, nothing against Steve. He's a great guy. Uh, Bert says what? With a question mark. What? Maybe it's supposed to be pronounced like that. I don't know what that even means, Bert, but thank you for commenting and hopefully you subscribe. And uh, last question is, Paul says, you really aren't a mechanic, are you? Um, yes, I am, Paul. <laughs> That's how I've been making my living for the past year and a half. So uh, again, I don't know everything, but uh, I've done it well enough to provide means for my family for the past year and a half, uh, not doing anything else. So yeah, I am a mechanic. Uh, don't believe me, watch all my other videos. And uh, yeah, feel free to watch the other video where I talk about how I find customers and stuff. Again, I don't have anything against you, Paul. Um, maybe you're trying to be hateful, but I'm a pretty optimistic person, so I read things in a non-confronting manner. In fact, I don't like confrontation when customers get confrontational with me. Uh, I usually just don't talk to them. So not that I cut off doing business with them, but I, I just uh, look for other ways to resolve issues than getting in arguments. So uh, yeah, thanks for all the questions, everybody. If you have any, leave them down below here. I'll answer them in a, further, in a future video. Uh, this is the RNSP YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, uh, share it with people 
who make people go viral because <laughs> hopefully this channel grows and uh, we can provide more entertaining content for everybody, start projects and uh, tutorials and stuff like that. So thanks again. As always, have a good day. Peace out.